One from Australia. And one from Australia. And we would just be walking around and there you'd see another uh, rotary team. We saw one at the Agra Fort um, where they, they just recognized because we're wearing Rotarian hats and we hug each other and take pictures and it was absolutely wonderful. We met a couple at the Taj Mahal. That was a big draw. So, so we, um, our team immunized, we estimate about 2,000 children in the village that we were at that day. And we were just one tiny village. It's also interesting to note that in our village, which was primarily Muslim, uh, we were working with Hindu families, but there's only 15% um, of the men who are literate and only 2% of the women, which is contrasted to southern India, where there's 100% literacy. So the, the area we were in was very different from southern India. Some of the other projects that we did while we were there, um, this is a picture of the Rotary Computer Training Center um, that was established by uh, uh, a club in the United States along with the Delhi Club where there's computers in a little school. We established their kind of a uh, handout station for hats and mittens because it was freezing cold in Delhi and the outside villages and the kids were really cold. So we brought with us um, that we collected before we went about probably about 2,500 sets of hats and mittens and handed them out there as well. Um, these are just pictures of, of what we saw while we were there. This is the Samod Palace at night. We, we got to stay there. It was this absolutely is, fabulous. This is the one nice, terrific place that we stayed, and we got to stay in the harem. We did. We had a suite. But we were the only girls. We were the yeah. Well, there were boys, though. Either. There were no boys in the harem, no. <laughs> this is the Taj Mahal. My son said, Mom, it looks like a painting. Is that really real? And yes, my camera really took it. Uh, this is uh, my mom and I with one of the village children at the NID. They loved my hat. They thought it was very elegant. This is one of the local monkeys that you see everywhere you go in India running around on the streets. Emily loved the monkeys. <laughs> um, this is a picture of one of the village houses where we were at doing the NID. And this is typical of the, of the houses we saw. There's. We're just going to show you really quickly some of the other shots of India. This is a picture of the um, markets. This is a picture of an actual polio victim uh, that we took a picture of. This is a picture of us being with our red dots and the, the um, agri fort. Yeah. I'm just going to one. This is the Venu Venu I Institute where we actually brought um, thousands pair of pairs of glasses here to um, give these individuals in India who are given free cataract surgery and also prescription lenses. There's, there's a there's one of our potties. Um, it's interesting to, to note that 80% of the people who are blind in the world live in India. And so the other part of our, our mission was to go to all of these different hospitals where they treat different kinds of blindness and illness. We also went to um, several hospitals uh, where they put on prosthesis and, um, and braces for children uh, and others who have been polio victims. And finally, of course, we were given a big party by the Mumbai uh, Rotary Club, which is a fabulous club, and they had a big garden party for us. And this is Emily and I and one of the Rotarians from Canada with our various um, banners that we were exchanging at that dinner party. Thank you, Emily, and I'm going to, uh, and Joe, and on behalf of the club, you know, it's really great to see all the, the fine work Rotarians do around the world. We really change lives and make such a big difference, and I'm always so proud to say I'm a Rotarian, and it's people like you that make me, make it possible for me to say that. And as a token of our appreciation for coming out and sharing time with us today, uh, we'd like to present you with uh, a silver dollar. From the, uh, from the Denver Mint. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. That's very nice. We love them. We also like to give you baseballs. We know you're big baseball fans. Oh, and yay. this <laughs> represents our annual fundraiser, which is a Branch Rickey Award, that we recognize a professional baseball uh, player who demonstrates humanitarianism uh, like the uh, ro Rotary Group that uh, you're part of. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Wonderful, fascinating stuff. What I'm going to do is ask our new members and their sponsors to adjourn to the uh, door. 
and please uh, shake their hands as you leave. Welcome them to the club. And we have a brief announcement that Brian's going to make. My apologies in the rush to get you the message from Andre and the latest news. I forgot to tell you, Art Star, our member for uh, 50 years, celebrated, celebrated that yesterday. And thank Art Star for his, uh, his work with the club. Also, fellowship meetings are coming up on April 15th. Sign up today. If you'd like to get some more information out about your business, we still need a few sponsors, so please get a hold of Jamie uh, at the front desk. Thanks. Thank you, Brian. And with this, the meeting is adjourned.